Hey, what's up everybody who might eventually be listening to this? Um, here's my idea. Here's my thoughts. I am bad at doing a routine for a long time, but I'm good at doing a routine for a short amount of time. You might say a season. I'm a sprinter more than I am a marathon runner when it comes to habits. I'm a marathon runner when it comes to goals and pointing those habits towards something bigger. And for some reason, this is the way that I work and I'm trying to accept it rather than think, why the heck can't I be a marathon runner? Because that's the um, that's the trap that I get in is thinking, thinking I'm bad at this. That's how I started this video, was saying I'm bad at right but like there's so many mentalities that I need to flip the story on flip the script on that's the phrase um, and so here's what we're doing um, I'm starting another daily practice that um, I'm gonna have a shorter goal on rather than thinking like I should be able to do this every day indefinitely I'm gonna try to release a YouTube video every day uh, with my thoughts because at, probably at least once a day I'm thinking to myself or like I'll have a thought where I'm like this would be great to share I really need to share this I either need to write this down which yes is probably true and I should eventually do that with a lot of my thoughts or like I should just share this right now and um, video is an interesting medium because it practices a different kind of expressive skill. I do free writes on Facebook right now, which is interesting. Um, kind of random, but some people are into it, I think. Um, and like, that's one form of ex expression, but doing, doing this invites, I think, more comprehensive direction with what I'm saying. Like, it invites more cohesion. It invites a more specific story. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to talk to the camera for a while. And I'm not going to care about how qualified I feel to talk about something. Because turns out people don't care that much about qualifications nowadays anyways. Um, so, like, let's jump in the conversation, right? Like, if the conversation's on the table are from everyday citizens with just opinions that are expressing those opinions loud enough to gain traction, I might as well be one of those. Um, so that's the need that I, that I feel like I'm serving. Let's throw some more ideas into the mix and hope that they are beneficial. I hope that they stir the pot in a good way or bad way, I don't even know. I don't even need to put those objectives on this. This is just something that I need to do. And if if it's valuable for people, they'll show up. You'll show up, right? If this is valuable to you. So I, I don't need to be making that decision anymore for you. I don't need to decide whether this is valuable for you or not. I need to just believe that it has an inherent value. It at least has value for me. Um, I don't care that much about quality gonna be honest as far as this goes I've never cared that much about quality and I know it's something that I should work on but it's better that I do this imperfectively hmm <laughs> imperfectly imperfectively nice um it's better that I do this in imperfectly than keep not doing anything because I know it's not gonna be perfect okay so all right let's talk Let's talk. I just got out of the Starbucks drive through And I'm drinking a tall iced pumpkin spice latte. Because it's 54 degrees out. Because that's how Kansas works. I'm also eating a sandwich. I just felt like you guys needed to know that. 
I know this isn't video etiquette. I don't care. I've got ideas to share with the world. And the thing is, if I don't, if I'm not doing this daily, I'm going to get out of the habit. Daily things do really, really help. So what I want to know is when you get on a kick, when you get on like a daily routine habit kick and you're really into it and you get locked in, tell me, like, I want to know what kinds of things that has taught you. And well, I, okay, I want to know how long do those usually last? When you get into a daily routine, are you able to keep that going for years? Does it last a week? Do you show up to it for months? Do you, does it fizzle after two days? Can you not even get past one day? That's all okay, it's all valid. I, there's, a, there's a reason for whichever, for whichever one. Like if something doesn't catch, there's a reason there's a mental block or it wasn't for you or it was the wrong objective or something or maybe you're just undisciplined but I think discipline is tied to is definitely tied to our motivations undisciplined an undisciplined person is just motivated to not have a routine I'm very I love not having a routine but I'm not super effective if I have none. I just don't want to be stuck. Like, I don't want to be trapped. So I have to constantly be finding things that, like, feel new to me and feel fun. And then I also need to not get mad at myself when I don't do it. So I'm not creating, like, just bad, like, mental mental patterns. Um, but the, the things that I've lasted the long longest on... on um, as far as daily habits go is when I know what the next step is I know what it's getting me and when I can see progress daily things where I can see daily progress hook me I'm addicted I will show up to that every day because like progress is fun to me um once the next step gets blurry, and like I don't know what comes after this, or sometimes after I've already achieved the goal, then just the, the habit goes away. Even if the habit was good, and this is the thing that I need to start working on. I need to figure out once it's gotten me to kind of where I wanted to go, because usually a habit develops out of like, mm, I'm, you know, like, I've been feeling pretty weak or tired. I better, I better like show up to my daily workout routine so that, you know, I won't be weak anymore or something. And then as soon as I see results, I'm like, oh, okay, like I, I feel better. Um, I'm happier with how I look or something. And then I get that feeling and I'm like, oh, I guess I did enough work. And then I kind of check out. I'm like, I got far enough. So I think that once I get far enough, I need to show myself that there's another level to go and show myself why why I would want to go that farther level. I think that's pretty important for me. Um, yeah, that's definitely important for me. So, okay. Let me meta video this. Let me, let me talk to myself about, let me talk about why, what this is going to get me. What is vlogging on a daily basis going to get me? One. A place for my thoughts to go. Why is it important for my thoughts to go somewhere? So that they can be interacted with, potentially, if they need to be. So that you can get to know me better. Which I think is better for, like, all my endeavors. I'm a musician. I, and something I believe about being a musician is you're actually selling yourself more than you're selling your songs. I believe people like your songs because they like the story behind it. Because they're curious about what you've gone through. Um, like, even if the song's not about you, I, st I still think they want to see your story in it. 
Okay, so so part of this is to be known. Okay, so a place for my thoughts to go. So that you can know me better. So my thoughts can be interacted with. So that I can be corrected when I have bad ideas. When uh, It allows me to add on to your ideas. It allows you, your ideas to add on to mine. It creates a form of discussion. It... Um, keeps me a little more seen. It's content. If I'm doing this daily, I can be a daily presence in more people's lives. Like with my face, not just my words. I think that's valuable. And ultimately, I think... I, I really do think that like... The thoughts I'm thinking about on a daily basis... A lot of them are about progress. Not just personal progress, but collective process. I spend a lot of my time asking questions of like, how do we solve all these societal issues in front of us? There's always going to be issues. So like somebody always needs to be, like we always need to be working on our issues and talking about them and bringing our perspectives to them and bringing our experiences to them. Your perspective is so important. So I'm sharing my perspective to show you I believe perspectives are important. I want you to be sharing your ideas. I don't think... I'm not going to pressure everybody to. I just think that like if you want to, if you have fun sharing, you should do it. I want to hear your thoughts. Not just in response to my thoughts. Like, I want to know your thoughts. I want to know who you are. I'm more interested in who you are than I am interested in the things you make. Um, what else was I gonna say? Um, oh yeah, so I th I think the things I'm, I I <laughs> I think the things I think about are important, and so I want you to think about them with me. That's it. Like to to sum up what I'm looking for in this. Is I don't want to be alone working on the problems I'm working on. So please don't, don't just watch these. Challenge me. Comment. Show me why I'm wrong. Share my thoughts with people that you think would relate to the thoughts that I have that are doing the things that that it seems like I'm doing that would be uh, a lot of a lot of help to me real quick to end the video what am I doing right now in general I am still making music I'm learning how to mix better self master I know you're not supposed to do that I'm learning how to do it anyways. I'm designing games. I'm designing um, a product line of stickers, t-shirts, decals, pins um, that promote personal development in a, within the bounds of integral, integral theory. Integral theory. Um, I'm trying to promote uh, self-improvement through play and uh, introspection and self-dialogue. I am teaching music, kind of life coaching, I don't know. People want different ways to think about things, tools to uh, deal with their inner problems. I'm um, working on kind of casually consulting people as far as that goes. I'm uh, doing uh, I'm studying magic, magic with a CK, which is um, really just a practice of focusing your power and intent, uh, interacting with the forces that be in the world in order to manifest real change in my life. I am going to be performing music again when COVID is over, so I'm still working on my performance skills, getting being a better instrumentalist and singer. I'm working at a print shop. I am thinking. 
really hard about what comes next for humanity and what role I have to play in that. That means um, asking very seriously what is next for you and how can I help? What is next for you and how can I help? Cool, thanks for listening to this um, first video. I'm gonna try to put up something every day. So subscribe to me on, uh, on YouTube if you can. Uh, there's a notification bell somewhere, maybe down there, over there. And um, that means that every time I post a video, you'll be notified. And I think that's cool. Because otherwise, like I forget that there's stuff that I was checked in on and, and trying to keep up with. So it's kind of a nice tool. And uh, like I said earlier, share with anybody that you think might be into the things that I'm working on right now. I think there's a lot of exciting things to come. I think there's a lot of very difficult things to come as well. But ultimately, exciting. So, thanks for listening.